Today, we'll be focusing on the more obscure Thomas Wooden Railway characters who originally appeared in the beloved Railway series and eventually got adapted for the toy line. Some of these characters would be adapted into the classic series of the show as well as the CGI series, but many of these characters would never appear outside of the Ertle or Wooden Railway toy lines and would only appear for a very short period of time in the early 2000s and late 90s. For starters, we'll be covering the narrow gauge engines first, then the standard gauge, and then the rolling stock, as well as also delving into the history of each character and the different adaptations for the different toy lines, not only wooden railway. Our first narrow gauge engine will be Coldy, introduced in Railway Series number 19, Mountain Engines, in 1964. Coldy would be the first and only Coldy Feld Mountain Railway engine in the Wooden Railway line, but he would appear alongside Godred in the Ertl line. He is also the first exclusively Wooden Railway character to be introduced at the time, released in 1996-2001. to Coldy would have an exclusive redesign during the third generation of the Wooden Railway line in 2005-2008. to Interestingly enough, Coldy would also have a second design in the fourth generation in 2015, which was exclusive for that year. Both redesigns show potential with a variance of the faces, with one being more attuned with early promo art of the time, while the other is not too far from the CGI character designs from the time. For a character that was never seen in the show and only ever appeared in one book, Coldy has had some of the most interesting design changes within the Wooden Railway line, as well as also being the most numerous released railway series character, being featured in Take Along and Take a Play, releasing in 2006 and 2014 respectively. The next narrow gauge engine we have here is Frank. Frank was introduced in the railway series number 34, Jock the New Engine, in 1990. Frank would be released in 2001 to 2002, as well as also having an early release. Alongside Frank, we have Mike. Mike was introduced in the Railway Series number 22, Small Little Engines, in 1967. For a time, Mike and Frank were the only RSL engines seen on the Wooden Railway before Legend of the Lost Treasure was released in 2015. Mike was introduced in 1998 to 2005 with very minor changes throughout the production years. He also had an additional take-along release from 2002 to 2009. It's also interesting to note that Mike was never actually introduced in Ertl, and Jock was never actually introduced in the Wooden Railway line, even though Frank was introduced in both. Frank and Jock would not be reintroduced into any of the toy lines going forward, and were not featured in Legend of the Lost Treasure. Meanwhile, Mike would be re-released and redesigned in 2015 to coincide with the film, as well as the following seasons after. And now for the last narrow gauge engine on our list, Ivy Hugh. Ivy Hugh was introduced in the Railway Series number 40, New Little Engines, in 1996. Ivy Hugh would be released from 2002 to 2011 with the Zoo Car Pack. He also was available in home video bonus pack from 2002 to at least 2008. Ivy Hugh was introduced in the third generation of the Wooden Railway, and his design would stay consistent for almost 10 years, up until the release of Blue Mountain Mysteries when the rest of the Scar Louis crew would be redesigned for that film. His design, even now, fits pretty well with the redesigned Scar Louis crew, and he's also exclusive within the Wooden Railway line. Our first standard gauge character that we'll be exploring here is Big City Engine. Big City Engine was introduced in the Railway Series number 12, the eight famous engines in 1957. He would be introduced in 2002 to 2005 having a unique tender design which was never actually seen within the books. Ironically, I don't have it here. Big City Engine is also unique as well as his namesake derives solely from the Wooden Railway series line and not from the books as well. He's also pretty interesting as he had a release in Take and Play in 2014, almost 10 years after he was discontinued in the Wooden Railway line. He is also the only character to have counterweights in the whole Wooden Railway system before the Wooden Railway rebranded in 2022. Our next standard gauge engine will be D199 Spam Can, introduced in the Railway Series number 23 Enterprising Engines in 1968. 
He would be released in 1996, with a minor design change in 1999, before a later full redesign in the third generation with a new body and a new face to fit the current style. He would also eventually have a second redesign during the fourth generation in 2014 with a CGI-like face. He's also one of the first exclusive Railway series characters to be introduced, and he also had an Ertl take-along intake and play release which is quite fascinating as he actually was never featured in the show, in the classic series, or the CGI series. And he also continues to have a yellow face, unlike much of the other RWS characters featured within the line. Up next, we have Flying Scotsman, who was also introduced in the Railway Series number 23 Enterprising Engines in 1968. Flying Scotsman would have two releases in the Wooden Railway line and would be exclusive to the line. Originally, being released in 1993 to 2003, he would have a redesign during the fourth generation with updated printing and very minor changes with a bigger body, but still having the wrong face, as his face is actually Henry and not Flying Scotsman. This is kind of strange considering the fact that many of the other RWS characters would have redesigned faces in this era, but Flying Scotsman continued to carry the wrong face and instead just applying a bigger mold for the face. This is even stranger after considering the fact that Flying Scotsman was redesigned twice for the wood line, but was eventually canceled. Our next character is Neil. Neil was introduced in the railway series number 20, Very Old Engines in 1965, with his wood counterpart being released in 1999 to 2001. Neil never had a design change, and he had the smallest chassis of any engine for the time, as well as being the first engine to adopt the short wheelbase, and was one of the first engines to have painted eyes. Neil also had a limited Erdo release in the UK. Next up, we have Sodor Railway Repair, introduced in Railway Series number 22, Small Little Engines, in 1967. They are one of the first RWS and wooden railway characters to have goggles or eyeglasses way before the introduction of Whiff in the hit era and was exclusive to the wooden railway. They were released in 1998 and discontinued in 2002. Finally, our last RWS character that we will be covering is Wilbert. Wilbert was introduced in railway series number 38, Wilbert the Forest Engine, in 1994. Wilbur is a fairly unique engine as his namesake actually comes from, of course, the Reverend Audrey and is actually based on the real engine named after him, Wilbur, on the Dean Forest Railway. Wilbur was released in 2001 and discontinued in 2002. He also had an Erdo release in 1998, which eventually was discontinued in 2005. It's unfortunate to note that he was actually never featured outside of any other toy brand and he was never actually featured in the show, in the classic series, or the CGI series going forward. Next up, we have Rolling Stock. First off, we have Ada, Jane, and Mabel. Introduced in Railway Series number 14, The Little Old Engine, in 1959. They were exclusive to the Wooden Railway line, released from 1997 to 1999. The only real difference they have from their Railway Series counterparts is the fact that they have printed names on the rear, presumably to differentiate each other uh, for consumers, and also the fact that the characters themselves at this point did not have any name printing on the bottom. They all have unique faces to each other, and they make for a pretty good contest. Next up, we have Catherine. Catherine was introduced in Railway Series number 19, Mountain Engines, in 1964. Her written railway release was in 1992 and discontinued in 2002, although she did continue until 2004 in the UK. The design herself is actually not based on Catherine in the railway series, but rather misinterpreted as the truck seen in the book. As a result, Catherine actually differs a lot in her railway series variant versus her trading card variant in her Earl variety, as she is actually depicted correctly as a coach. But here, she's inaccurately depicted as a work coach and a separate flatbed with cargo. Although she is um, not necessarily accurate, she still is fairly unique and very distinct looking. 
Next up, we have Frank, introduced in the Railway Series number 24, Oliver the Western Engine, in 1969. He was released in 1997 and discontinued in 2002. Fred is rather an interesting design choice, as he is pretty much just a one-off coal car. Uh, but he is a fairly unique and interesting looking piece of rolling stock, um, especially alongside Scruffy and the rickety uh, cars at the time. Fred would only appear in the Railway Series, and he would never be featured in the show, and would be exclusive to the Wooden Railway. It's also fun to note that the lettering on the side is, is spelled as Fred Pelhay and not Fred Pelham. This is probably due to the really poor scans that the designers were given at the time, or the fact that the text itself in the book is fairly hard to read. Here we have N.W. Brake Van, or in the show, Spiteful Brake Van. He was introduced in the Railway Series number 15, The Twin Engines, in 1960. He was released in 1999 to 2001, as well as 2005 in the UK. Although called the Spiteful Brake Van in the show, he's referred to as the N.W. Brake Van in the Wooden Railway line, and is directly based on his RWS design rather than his TVS appearance, hence the reason why he's included in this video. He had an Erda release as well as a Bachman release in two different scales. Finally, we have the Sodor China clay cars, introduced in the Railway Series number 21, Mainline Engines, in 1966. Their wooden railway counterparts were released in 1997 and discontinued in 2001. It's interesting to note that Brendam is actually misspelled as Brendham, even though the illustration has it spelled correctly. Um, and both cars have Easter eggs to Roy Wilson, as the red car ID number is Roy Wilson's birthday, March 5th, 1947. And the green car's ID number is a reference to Wilson's first son's birthday, being May 2nd, 1972. Both of which are pretty much exclusive to the Wooden Railway line and are kind of unique because they only released them for a very short period of time, but they fare pretty well with other China clay cars and Bill and Ben, so it's fun to have them. Overall, I'm actually like a huge fan of a lot of these different characters, and it's also pretty interesting that they decided to make so many exclusive characters for this toy line, as a lot of them were never actually reintroduced outside of any of the other toy lines. As well as also a lot of them just never really appearing in the show, especially when the show was you know, making more characters for toys, it would make some sense that they might have introduced these characters again, but it's kind of shocking that they don't. A good example is I View Hugh, the fact that he was produced for almost 10 years throughout multiple um, eras of the actual toy line, but never appeared in any of the books uh, outside of the book that he was first appeared in and in the show, CGI or model series. Same thing kind of goes with Fred. It's also kind of interesting how we never really got Flying Scotsman, of course, in the model series, but we did in the CGI series. It's also kind of a shame that we never really got Wilbert, and also kind of a shame that Big City Engine or D199 was never actually interpreted. It's also, of course, unfortunate that we never got Coldy and Catherine, but overall, I think I, I think it's fairly fascinating that they kept a lot of these characters around as well. Uh, Coldy is a good example as he was redesigned three times. Of course being a limited edition character, but it's kind of strange that they made him so many times and never actually decided to put him in the show. I could imagine that is possibly due to you know execution because Coldy and Godred and the rest of those Coldy Fell engines are just like very unique designs. But they have a lot of story p potential, and it's weird that they never got put in. It's also kind of funny to note that some of these choices are kind of just seemingly at random. Fred is also just a weird choice because he wasn't really the main character within Jock the New Engine, and the title character Jock was never actually introduced in the Wooden Railway. But Mike managed to be introduced, so that's kind of just a weird choice. Also, Ivy Hugh with the zoo cars, I think is just kind of hilarious because he's an aero gauge engine hauling a hippo and a 
box car with two lions and for some reason there's a monkey in the middle which seems kind of hazardous to the monkey but maybe that's just like a, a joke to monkey in the middle i also really like this sort of uh, play features like a cat there with a removable cargo box. Um, Sodor Railway Repair had a removable trough and ladder um, on his back ledge. Uh, fortunately, I don't have them. It's an interesting little piece. But a lot of these are really just cool to look at, and I think definitely vary layouts a lot and sort of different collection. As in general, they're just very colorful and they're very different from the rest of the gang. Especially with the fact that most of these faces are created pretty accurately even if they're not accurate to say the character but you can definitely see some of these are translated really well like Frank and Ivy Hugh is probably the best ones Wilbur does also pretty good Flying Scotsman even though he has the wrong face the face was uh, recreated pretty well you also have like Neil and I, I don't know I just Neil's goofy face is just the best the best face but anyways um I think this is a video.